Welcome back to another episode of Lucid Daily, and today we have a huge announcement that we need to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. Very first off, Lucid was down today 1.89%, and they were up a little over half a percent in the after hours. Tesla was up 1.1%, and they were also up a little over, a little under half a percent in the after hours. Similar story with Rivian, they were down 3.4% during the day today, and up a little bit over a third of a percent in the after hours. So, the, the market did take a little bit of a hit today with the CPI data overall was not as bad CPI reading, but nonetheless, some of these stocks were still affected. So to get over the, to let's go over the announcement, exactly my thoughts about it and what I think will happen going forward. So as you can see here, Lucid did release an Air Grand Touring performance model. This has 1,050 horsepower, a 446 miles of range on 21 inch aero blade wheels. The normal Grand Touring without the performance package is 819 horsepower, 516 miles on 19 inch aero range wheels. So there you can kind of try to, you can kind of trade performance for range. Some people care for more for the performance. Some care, people care for the range and having over 500 miles of range is absolutely phenomenal. But also having over a thousand horsepower is really, really good. So that's really good news. Now here's a little bit of a shocker. I was not expecting this person. I don't know really what I was expecting in terms of a price. But when you say it out loud, it sounds a little bit different than I was expecting. The Grand the grand Touring Performance comes in at $179,000. This makes this car more expensive than the Dream Edition. The Dream Edition was already $169,000, so they're adding another $10,000 on to the top end of their cars. Now, if you're a Dream Edition holder, you have more value in the fact that it was only there was a certain amount of them made. Um, with the Grand Touring Performance, I think this is a really good way for the company to get way better margins but i also think it's a hint that lucid will be raising its prices sooner rather than later i think with the inflation infl inflationary environment that we're in now seeing tesla raise their prices seeing rivian raise their prices i think lucid will be next and they will have to raise their prices to continue to get the parts and the margins that they want at the prices that they want in order to continue to make the business function so I would not be surprised. Now, do I think that they're gonna raise prices on reservation holders? I don't think so, but I think it will be from this time going forward. Um, reservation Reservations, they will start to see a price increase. I don't know if it'll be next quarter or the quarter following. Who knows, I could totally be wrong and there may not be any price increases whatsoever. Now that would probably, I don't know, I give that probably a price increase, I'd say 65% chance. And then for the price increased, Maybe give it a 60% chance, I'll go 70% chance, 70% chance for price increase and a 30% chance that they don't increase prices. So with that being said, it, it's still an interesting game to play, especially having those other companies raise their, raise their prices. And then I am really curious to see how many re reservations they get in the next quarter. The other thing is I don't know if they quite have the reservation power that per se Rivian does to say, okay, we have all these customers locked in, now we can raise prices. Um, Lucid has a little over 20,000 reservations now, which is good. They should be totally good for reservations for the next year and a half, or well, I guess all of 2022, and then going into 2023, they should have the sufficient reservations before they need to start um, going after those lower, b before they go after like, getting as many reservations as possible. So I don't know if that's, if they're gonna do that, how they're gonna do that, if the Project Gravity is gonna do that. I'm gonna be interested to see how Lucid continues to get more reservations at the pace that these other companies do. Granted, this is more of a luxurious car, so you grant you not everybody's gonna go get the most expensive car. They're gonna start to get the cheaper ones. So keep that in mind, just an interesting thought. So I rambled on there for a minute. Oh, you couldn't even see it. But yes, the, the price tag, on the Lucid Grand Touring Performance is $179,000. Next, next, I think Peter Ronson was hinting to this the whole, the whole time. Ever since Q1, he said that they were going to do something for the people that wanted to get the Dream Edition, but were not able to. Basically with this, they pay more than the Dream Edition. It's kind of a, it's just a joke, but they, they pay basically the price for the Dream Edition, but they get a similar performance, just not quite the, 
the collectability that the Dream Edition has or the the uniqueness of that car. The Grand Touring Performance is still an extremely expensive car, still incredible, um, still absolutely incredible performance. Let's go ahead and look on their website actually for the, the performance. As you can see here, the Grand Touring um, will have 446 miles of range and it will reach zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. I wanna go ahead and see if they have the gold, if you can reserve the gold if you have the performance. Uh, nope. The gold is only reserved for the Dream Edition. So hopefully we don't see any more gold cars coming out of the factory because that'll mean that they're working on the Dream Edition. But I'm super excited to start to see more Grand Tourings on the road. If you look on eBay, actually, you can see a handful of Grand Tourings that people are listing. So that's a good sign that they are starting to deliver more and more Grand Tourings. And hopefully we can get those um, through the gates. And I did go ahead and do a little bit of digging to see what kind of um, interest this announcement made as you can see this is like the normal website traffic of the 5th through the 8th through the 10th and then here where the announcement came out you did see a little bit of spike in um, interest around lucid motors as a company so that's good news hopefully they got a handful of reservations in there and they can continue to get great profit margins because we're going to start to need those in q3 and q4 as we continue to ramp this company as we continue to ramp a project gravity. So if you guys got any sort of vibe from this, consider subscribing. Sorry, I'm a little bit monotone today. I'm pretty toast, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be a lot more energetic and ready to rock and roll. Thank you guys for your support. And like always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.